Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I hope y'all were eating lots of leftovers and relaxing and spending time with family. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about a situation that happened with a 27 year old woman named Fernanda. This is so bizarre because Fernanda was stopped by a fortune teller. The fortune teller tells Fernanda that she is getting ready to pass away. And then the next thing you know, she passes away. So could you imagine that? Can you imagine somebody being like, hey, I need to stop and tell you something. You're about to lose your life. And then the next thing you know, it's gone. That's what happened in this case. Before we get into it though, I did want to let you guys know if you don't already know, hi, my name is Christina. I do have a second channel, which is Casually Christina. We do things way more casually over there. I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up. And over there, we talk about more personal stuff. We go live over there. I also have a $2 tier for all the true crime stuff that can't go onto YouTube due to their terms and policies. That goes over on my Patreon. Before you join though, make sure you read the about section and what each tier offers. I also have a Snapchat, a Facebook, an Instagram, and I'm now on like to know it where you can like go there and shop all of the things that I have, like my nails or my hair or stuff in my house. And all of those links are down in the description box. If you'd like to come and check me out. Now let's talk about Fernanda. Fernanda was living a seemingly normal life. She was a mother to a special needs nine year old daughter. That was her complete and entire world. Fernanda and her daughter were also surrounded by a big loving and caring family. So no one was expecting to lose Fernanda. So suddenly on August 3rd, Fernanda was walking through a part of Brazil when she was stopped by an elderly woman who asked if she could tell Fernanda her fortune. Now in this town, there are a lot of fortune tellers trying to get business. So it wasn't unusual at all to be stopped by one on the street. Fernanda agreed. And when the fortune teller was done reading Fernanda's palm, she told her she only had a few days to live. Now the fortune teller then gave Fernanda a wrapped chocolate and said goodbye. Not thinking anything of it, Fernanda went on her way and she ate the chocolate. The chocolate was packaged so that Fernanda didn't think that there was anything suspicious about it. I mean, literally she looked at it. It looked like a normal chocolate, completely packaged and sealed. She gets this fortune from this fortune teller. She leaves her probably thinks, oh my gosh, this one, she's cuckoo. Well, at least I'll eat this chocolate. And she doesn't think anything about it afterwards. However, within hours of eating the chocolate, Fernanda became very sick. She had a severe stomach pains, like extremely bad pains and even had impaired vision and she was vomiting. But also Fernanda actually had a stomach ulcer and she had gastritis. So she and her family didn't think too much of it when she started to not feel well. Fernanda was texting her family, telling them what was going on. And in those texts, Fernanda was explaining to her family that the fortune teller was an old lady and the chocolate was seemingly sealed in packaging. And so she wasn't really worried about it anyways, but she started feeling very sick and weak after she ate this chocolate, Fernanda went on to tell her family that her heart was racing and that she had a terrible taste in her mouth and her vision was blurry. Fernanda even said that she felt like she was about to meet God. Now, can you imagine getting these text messages from your family member? Your family member is sick. Their heart is racing. They they're saying that their vision is blurry. They met this fortune teller on the street that said that they were about to no longer be alive. They eat a chocolate. And now this family member is texting you saying, I think I'm about to meet God. 
for real. By the time Fernanda and her family began to worry, it was already too late though. A family member finally took Fernanda to the hospital where her symptoms only got worse. At this point, she was actually bleeding from her nose and foaming at the mouth, you guys. And Fernanda actually passed away the following day on August 4th just the very next day after she ate this chocolate from the fortune teller. After she passed away in the hospital, the cops got involved. Thankfully, after waiting for two months, an autopsy report finally came out. When this autopsy report came out, it revealed that Fernanda had high levels of sulfate and turbufos. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, turbufos in her body, which are actually chemicals that are found in pesticides and they're easily available in Brazil. The medical examiner said that these substances are highly prevalent in cases of poisoning due to them being easily accessed, even though they are supposed to be regulated. Unfortunately though, the authorities have not been able to confirm that these chemicals specifically came from the chocolates, but the local detectives are investigating Fernanda's death as a homicide. They are searching for this fortune teller that gave Fernanda the chocolate, but they have not been able to identify her and no arrests have been made. Fernanda's family are completely shocked and devastated over her death. They cannot understand why anyone would want to hurt her, why this happened. I mean, how random could it be that a fortune teller would literally come up to her on the street? Now, again, in this part of Brazil where she lives at or lived at, it was pretty common. But for her to tell her, you're going to die, give her a chocolate. And then the next day she dies and then the autopsy report comes back and they find these sulfates and pesticides in her system. And then now the family, they have no idea who this fortune teller was. Was it somebody that knew her that put the fortune teller up to this? They don't know. Now, strangely, just a few months before Fernanda's death, another woman in Brazil died after eating a poison chocolate as well. She had received them in the mail after receiving several threatening phone calls that she thought were just prank calls. She thought the chocolates tasted a bit funny, but she ate them anyways. And then she too became severely ill and passed away. However, the local cops in that area will not commit to linking both cases, but they are investigating. Now, some people online are saying what you can learn from this is like, don't take candy from strangers. But like, I guess you just don't, as an adult, you don't think that, right? If somebody was to give you a chocolate that's wrapped up, you don't think twice about it. Or if, I don't know though, if I got chocolate, I feel like in the mail after I'm getting a bunch of threats and I don't know who the chocolate, but then again, I don't know, different countries, there's different cultures and people do things differently. But that is so wild. Like who is the fortune teller? I feel like that type of thing could happen anywhere. Have y'all ever been to like New Orleans Bourbon Street? You're on Bourbon Street, it, there's fortune tellers or people that read cards and palms and everything on the sides of the street everywhere, trying to get you to come over to them so they can, you know, do whatever their services are. Well, say they, they do that and they offer you a piece of chocolate. Here's a Hershey kiss. Thank you. You're not thinking anything of it. You go home and eat it or you give it to a family member and the next thing you know, they pass away. And then the fortune teller or the palm reader or whatever it is, is gone. That is wild. I sure hope that Fernanda's family ends up figuring out who did this. I hope that people talk or something. She had, again, a nine-year-old daughter with special needs that really depended on her. And it's just so sad. Have you guys heard about this case? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Other than that, I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here. I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.